name? Are we sure name? Are we yeah, Gunner. Yeah, he's got a name. Gunner. Okay, he's got Gunner will be here. Welcome to the Arizona post game press conference. Coach Fist, did you want to start for the statement? Yeah, I'd just say um, really thrilled for our team today. Um, the way our team played this game, I thought was just uh, it's pretty amazing. Defensively, six takeaways in a game. Um, they kept us in the game. They made plays at the right time. They scored a touchdown. Uh, they set up great field position. I can't say enough of our defensive staff, our defensive players, and what they did uh, for this game. Just amazing. And, um, you know, I would say that on top of that, I think offensively, uh, Noah, T-Mac, Jacob, uh, just made some plays in the passing game when we needed it. So uh, together, I think all, as a team, we just played great football. But more than anything, I would say two years ago, we started this journey. And, uh, you know, we, we were coming off. We got hired here. We went 1-11. And, 11, and uh, everybody believed in the, what we were trying to get done. And these guys up here, uh, almost all of them joined us. Uh, Dalton and Gunner were there for that first year. The other three guys came and joined us after the first year. And um, just for this team, the amount of players we have that um, joined us while we were going through the adversity, for them to be able to experience this now is pretty amazing. Very good. Questions, raise hand, and please direct it to individual players or coach at one at a time. Uh, this one's for Jed. Um, Jed, you guys were down by multiple possessions there in the second half. What was the conversations like with the team, and, and what did your team show you tonight? Well, it was 24-13, and they had the ball on, I think, driving into the red area. Um, and then we have an 89-yard return for a touchdown by Gunner to make it 24-19. You know, there's not a lot of conversations that are going on at the – I mean, halftime was 14-13. We talked about, hey, it's going to be a battle. We were expecting a battle. Uh, there was nothing going to be easy, even though we went up 13-0 in the first quarter. But uh, the guys just kept competing. And um, I really believe our strength staff does an amazing job of making an emphasis of the fourth quarters when we win games. And um, we made the play on defense. Then Noah made an unbelievable play on the two-point play to Montana to make it 24-21. And then uh, from that point at time, I think uh, the springboard occurred. And um, I think Irby made an incredible pick that got us there to kick a field goal to tie the game up. And then uh, those two touchdowns in the fourth quarter were, were fun to be a part of. Question, second row, third row. Uh, yeah, this is for Jacob. When you saw Noah roll out and you were open there, did you see that the path was open for you to be able to go all the way? And was there going to be anything that could have kept you from getting in the end zone on that touchdown? Um, you know, as soon as I caught the ball, um, I turned, looked upfield. Um, I saw Montana there, turned around, got a block for me. Um, if it wasn't for Montana getting that block for me, I don't think I would have gotten that end zone. So, um, you know, I appreciate him for doing that and looking out for me to get in that end zone. Question back. This is for Noah. Noah, from taking the ball over at Stanford to sitting here now, what have you learned about yourself and the team and the guys beside you? I think the biggest thing for me and the thing that I've been emphasizing the most is trust. And uh, the, biggest, the biggest blessing this year is my coaches and my teammates trusting in me the way they did. Uh, there's a lot of times that I was struggling and uh, – our office was struggling because of me, and nobody flinched, nobody doubted me, so I really appreciate that. But being able to just trust Coach Fish, trust play calls, um, trust our preparation, that's kind of the biggest thing um, that I've been emphasizing since I've, since I've taken over the job. Back middle, please, Alex. Roll Flores, AP Radio for Gunner. Uh, take us through uh, the fumble, forced fumble early in the game and then the, uh, the long – Fumble return, uh, just just take us through what you saw on those two plays. Um, the fourth fumble, that was just great pursuit by our defense, um, something our coaches uh, preach, uh, preach on us and we practice a lot. And, you know, we have a lot of hire for guys. And when you have that, you know, good things happen. And then on the pick six, man, that was that was just an amazing play from Dalton uh, right here. He just had a great great break on the ball. Great hit on the guy, ball came out, and then my teammates just 
my teammates just rallied with me, blocked their blocked as hard as they could all the way down, and we got in the end zone. Front, please. Troy Hutchison, GoEasyCats.com. Uh, two questions, but first for Jed. Uh, defensively, you guys were able to hang in there. 24 points, but six turnovers and 28 points off of those turnovers. Can you just talk about the effort defensively that your team gave tonight? Yeah, I mean, it was it was phenomenal. Six turnovers in a game is, I mean, it's, it's a dream, number one. And we scored 28 points off of the turnover, so that helps. But uh, when you look at it, um, the way the way our defense – played all year they just got better and better and better and better and they just kept finding ways and finding ways to uh to make plays and uh we've got one of the uh the greatest stories uh this season with the defensive turnaround from a year ago till today and the fact that we have so many players returning again uh you know just sets the standard and raises the standard and coach Nansen and coach Akina and uh coach Kafusi and coach Cecil and coach Richardson just have done an amazing job of getting these guys in position to play hard, believe in the system, and then be able to make the plays like they did today. And then, Jacob, um, in terms of the offense end, for you, just ending your career this way, being named offensive player of the game, um, going out with a bang, what does it mean for you to have this moment? Um, you know, it means a lot. But um, first, I just want to say, like, I, give, I want to give credit to my teammates for pushing me um, day in and day out since January. Um, you know, going through fall camp, spring ball, um, some summer conditioning, um, you know, get me to where I'm at today, the athlete that I am today. So if it wasn't for those guys uh, pushing me each and every day, I don't think I would be here today as the athlete that I am. Second row. Uh, Jason Shear, Wildcat Authority. Jed, what do you think the, the difference was on offense in the fourth quarter compared to the, the previous two? Um, you know, I think that we just we kind of settled down a little bit in the fourth quarter. We made some plays. Um, T Mac made plays uh, to get us going. Uh, there were some big time slants that he caught for us. There were some big time plays over the middle that he caught for us uh, in that situation. Noah hung in there. He used his feet a little bit more. I think a couple of those scrambles made a big difference for us. Um, obviously, Jacob uh, made a huge play. Uh, for us on the in our dash pass and then you know we were able to run the ball there at the end and we tried to run the ball we struggled early um, and really struggled throughout the game and credit to Oklahoma Oklahoma's got a heck of a defense now and coach Venables is probably one of if not the best defensive coach in the country uh, so they gave us a lot of challenges and a lot of unique looks but uh, our guys hung with the plan we adjusted a couple things here or there and uh, DJ brought us home as he always does with that final run and then for, for Dalton, you you were part of this program when things were low and you, you stayed when, when Coach was hired. What does today and really the season overall mean to, to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, there were some dark times that first year. Um, you know, 1-11 is never fun. Uh, the building's rough to go to, uh, just day in and day out. But uh, believed in Coach Fish, believed in the coaches he brought in and just uh, the people we had in the building. Um, you know, U of A is home, and uh, this win means everything. You know, we we came a long way, and uh, this whole team, whole staff, whole whole facility deserves it. Yeah. On the end, uh, two questions. First, uh, for Jed, you made a switch up on the offensive line. Obviously, Jordan Morgan was out. What did you see out of the O line, and how they performed today? Yeah, I mean, we uh, we made a couple changes. Uh, I think everybody competed really well. I think that they brought some uh, challenging looks, challenging fronts, challenging games that uh, made it made it difficult uh, on Joe on his first start. Made it difficult uh, on Raymond on his you know first start at left tackle. Um, you know, kicked Jonah back out of tackle there in the fourth quarter and brought Leif in at guard and uh, you know tried to make a couple changes um, there. But uh, in the end, you know, we were we were shuffling around and we were trying to get our best. You know, our best five out there, uh, Jordan Morgan's a first-round pick. So, you know, when you lose him for the last game uh, at the left tackle position, you're going to uh, end up, you know, having a couple challenges early. But I think the guys settled in, and uh, we were able to get done when we needed to. And then uh, for Noah, the, the last two games, Jacob Cowling and T-Mac uh, went off. What did you see out of those guys the last couple games, and how would you describe the connection that you have with them? It's just kind of what they do, and I think it took me – 
um, a little time to realize that uh, I was making it harder on myself not throwing it to them when they're one-on-one. So um, in different ways, they they win every one-on-one battle that they have. Um, they make my job real easy. I'm sure they make Coach Fisher's job real easy. And then uh, they're real reliable. Uh, I don't think they've really had a had a drop since it's kind of this whole season. So uh, every time you need a play, you know that they're going to make it. They're competitive. Um, edge, they're like I said, every time uh, something needs to happen, they're, you could trust that they're going to do it with no hesitation. So continuing to rise to the occasion. And like I said, they make my job real easy. Back. For Jed, how do you teach a team how to finish? Uh, I think that we just talk about it a lot. And we work really hard, and we don't we don't really change. We don't change the way we work. I mean, we condition after practice. We don't really give days off if we don't have to, and we work very hard. And I think finishing is a part of that. That the way our strength staff has handled the off season program and our uh, win first program, the way our coaches understand how we coach and what our expectation is. Um, I don't know. Finishing is the most important thing you can do. And, um, you know, you don't win the game in the first quarter and you don't win the game in the second quarter and you don't win the game in the third quarter. So if you learn that and you believe that, then these guys go out there and when it, they don't flinch. They know that the fourth quarter is going to be the, game, the, the time that they got to be at their best. Final questions? We got one on the end. Uh, two questions. Uh, first, for T-Mac, uh, what, what does this year mean for you, considering highest rate of recruit in program history? You joined the team when it was very low. Uh, now, looking back in your decision, how do you feel about it? Um, I mean, my the year that I had is all because of my teammates and my, my coaches. Um, it's just the year that I had is just a reflection of them. And without them, I wouldn't be here. Um, just the trust they had in me. Um, to make plays, to be there when I need to be, um, is uh, the reason why I'm here. Why I'm here. <laughs> and then, uh, Jed, going into a new conference next year, you return a bunch of guys as well. How do you think tonight sets you guys up for next year? Well, I told our guys we're going to enjoy tonight. Okay, and we're going to enjoy. We're going to put an end to this season. And uh, tonight was the last game of this season. And then uh, we'll take a little break, and we'll come back, and then we'll start preparing for the Big 12. And we'll, um, we'll be going into the Big 12 with a lot of momentum. We're on a seven-game win streak. And uh, it's pretty awesome for Arizona football to be on a seven-game win streak. And, uh, you know, we're just going to go out there, and we're going to enjoy tonight. We're going to enjoy our time back at home. Um, we've got some fantastic players with fantastic families. And it's their time to go enjoy their New Year's with their parents and New Year's with their friends and New Year's with their families. And then we'll all come back in January, uh, January 10th or whatever it is, and start working our way through the process of getting ready for the next conference. But, um, you know, I love our players. And I think the reason why we can do what we do is because our players stay and our players work hard and our players believe. And uh, where else would you rather be than go try to be in the top 10 or better next year? Thank you, Coach. Thank you, players.